In this video, we will see how to create a compressor settings for Final Cut. So if you go on Final Cut, you go inside File and you go down to Share, you've got the available format that is here by default. But you can also add a destination if you want something specific. And if you go on Add here, you see there is that compressor settings here. But first we need to create that compressor settings. So I will go on Compressor over here and we will go at the very lower left corner. We're going to hit that plus over here, Add Settings and New Settings. Then you will choose the kind of file you want. Do you want MPEG-2, MPEG-4, MXF, QuickTime Movie? Those are the containers. If you want to know more about the codec and those kind of things, I invite you to take a look at the video on the upper right corner. For this example, I will just take MXF for example. And that's it. I will say OK. Then. Uh, in general here, I will not change anything. I will not go deep dive into this. I'm not the best at video codec and all those things, but um, I would recommend maybe to keep most of the thing automatic, but choose the codec that you want to compress in. So let's say that this one I want, well, HDV generic, it's just an example. And yeah, for sure, you can change uh, the frame rate to something manual if you want. But if you leave it on automatic, well, it will adapt to the the one of your project. So, well, still, you do what you want. But if you need something very specific, and if you want it to be converted to another frame rate, it's not something that I recommend, but you can do it. Same thing for cropping and those kind of things. You can also modify the audio settings over here. And then that's it. You don't need to save anything. It's just right there. Actually, it says Untitled MXF. Uh, we'll rename this one just by clicking once on it. You can name it the way you want. This one will be Potato. Potato. All right. And then if we go back to Final Cut, I will go inside File, Share, and Add Destination. This one over here. Then, as I said, you go on Add Destination, Compressor Settings, select this one, and you will see, if you double click on it, here I've got Pareto. So, okay, Pareto is now had. And now if I go on File, Share, and I can select Potato. So it will now export into the Potato settings that I've just created inside Compressor. As you can see, it's in MXF. Now, if you want to push the bar a bit further, if this is something you will use a lot, you see if I want to have a shortcut over here on Potato, uh, you need to memorize the very the way it is written actually. So it's Potato with a capital P and three dot. So if I go into my system settings inside keyboard, you can go on keyboard shortcut. And if you go inside app shortcut, this one, and into, well, you don't need to go inside anything. You just hit the plus over here and select final cut. Final, final cut. Thank you. And I hit the same name, menu title. That one was potato dot dot dot. And I will hit a new shortcut. This will be, let's say, common option and P for it, potato. And done. Done. And if I go back on Final Cut, now, as you can see, if I go in File, Share, I've got the shortcut for potato. So from here, I can hit option common P and it will export as potato in MXF. So that's how you do it. So I hope this was helpful.